The print preview feature allows you to view what's going to be printed when you hit the print button. If you're like me and you don't want to waste paper, I want to see what's actually going to print. So by using the print preview, I get an idea. And that's found up here on the file tab, down to the print tab, and then there's the print options. Of course, you can click print. But before I do that, I want to come over here and look in the print preview window. And I can get an overall view or a zoomed out view of what's going to be printed. How many pages? Well, come down here, and there's page 1 of 2. Click and go to page 2. So all of the data couldn't fit on page 1. It's spilling over, and it's going to be printed also on page 2. So right here, I'm getting the layout view. You can zoom in on this sheet if you'd like. Just come down here in the bottom right-hand corner, where it says Zoom to Page. Click on it to zoom in. Click on it to zoom out. And you'll notice that when I zoomed in and zoomed out, there are no grid lines that are going to be printed. Like you see up here when I click on the Home tab, all these grid lines here. If you actually want to print the grid lines, then come up here, click on the Page Layout tab, go to the Sheet Options group and check Print to print the grid lines. Actually, you don't even have to view them here, but I'm going to go ahead and view them and also print them. Come back to the File tab, click on it, go down to Print, come over here to the Preview, and like I said, what you see here is what you're going to get or what's going to come out of the printer. And so it's including the grid lines, which I don't like, so I'll uncheck that and turn it off. But before I do that, the grid lines, let me go back to the Page Layout tab. They're kind of in a light gray. You can actually change the color of the grid lines, not only for printing, but for general viewing here. By coming up and clicking on the File tab, going down to Options, going down to the Advanced tab, and then scrolling down here just a little ways to Display Options for this workbook, you got the grid line color. Click on the drop-down arrow and choose Click OK, and that's horrible course it's going to print. How do I know? File to print. Oh joy. In any case, let me go ahead and uh, click on the File tab to go back and go ahead and uncheck Print the Grid Lines and File to Options to Advance and then scrolling down here. I don't like that. Let's do Automatic. Click OK. and Let me go ahead and close out of this workbook. I'm going to click on the uh, inner X, not the outer X, so it leaves the program open. I'm not going to save it. I've got another workbook here that I want to show you that's in color. I've got a chart here which we'll learn and in level 2 how to create charts. They'll be fun. In any case, I want to show you that if you have a color printer, it'll print this in color. Or if you have a black and white like I do, it'll print it in black and white, of course. How do I know? Come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Print. That's my black and white printer, so I see it over here in black and white. Or if I change it and I want to convert it to a file and not print it off on my printer, but to a file, then you can see it updates and it shows the color because the file, Adobe PDF, will accept color, which is rather nice. And of course you can see it's being cut off here. In fact, the data is so large it's being broken up over into page 2. So if I go down here to page 2 it's cut off. In any case, we'll cover how to organize your data to be able to print onto one page so it's not cut off like you see here onto page 2. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.